Hello everybody, Attack Power here with another monthly tournament game between Once a Noob and Player PP85 here on Tannenberg. Let's dive right in here to, like I said, Tannenberg. And on the left in the red, we have Once a Noob playing a glorious 8th Cavalry Putata on ew, Vanguard Income. And on the other side, we have Player 85 here playing 26th Panzer on Maverick Income. Well, at least no Mirror Income. That's definitely exciting. Tannenberg, I actually really like this map. I think it's pretty fun. It actually allows a lot of different division plays and does kind of pull you. You need to have pretty specific divisions to actually like thrive on this map. Uh, a lot of divisions have a tough time covering both the open areas and the green forest stuff in the middle. Uh, so diving into the decks here, Eighth Cavalry, a very solid division. Y'all know I love it. Although I like 5th Cav better. Uh, big weakness of 8th Cav is CQC. It's actually significantly worse than 5th Cav. Uh, it gets the 2k HE with the Jirni, but the support tab also is still garbage. The AT tab is an upgrade. The AA tab is equivalent. The RD tab is an upgrade with their better 100 mils. AA to air tab is essentially the same. And the infantry, you know, the sniper recon is the same. So diving in here, recon tab, AB horse, you only get one card of these. And then the rest of the, the tab is Kadarashi with three cards in A and one in B. The infantry tab does get some upgrades and, like I said, some downgrades from fifth cab. Uh, the Venatori de Gada are a definitely nice upgrade here. They're fanatical units that are chunkier than Roshiori with a little bit more CQC punch. Then you have the Kadarashi Moto, which are basically better Panzergrens. I mean, that's what they are. They have MG42s. They have a way better vet curve because the veterancy availability is 12 8 four in a phase and then like 18 it's like 22 21 16 8 in b phase and it's just much better it's like a roshiori it's basically the same as roshiori uh so yeah definitely upgrade that then but the only real cqc units you have are the roshiori assault and the pianiri kaladi now the kaladi are very good in terms of pioneer units, but they're still pioneer units. They're not like double flamers like the assault pioneers that fifth calf gets. The tank tab has the Tron 2 and the Zirni 2, so very nice mix there, although no Stugs or anything to work with. Support tab, really weak. You just got the Hotchkiss, the Breda Gun, Leader here and ammo. AT tab, phenomenal with a great bunch of units to choose from, but here we see the Venator de Kata, the Panzer Truck unit. We have the 45 mil, the Rashitsas, both of those in A and B, the Hetzer and the Tacom R2, which is actually a great little like annoying medium tank Tank Destroyer. AA tab, excellent. 25 mil, 40 mil, and Vickers, which are still terrible, but lately have been shooting down my planes like it's their job. I don't know what's going on. I think it's just me. Uh, the RD tab, awesome with the 100 mil Romanian artillery, but you don't get a ton. They do, like, if you're going into a full-on RD war, you generally do lose. Uh, and then the 60 mil mortar, of course. The re air tab, we have the HS129 for recon, JU87, BF109, G6, R6, and A phase, the HS129 cluster bomber, and the JU88 and B. On the other side here, 26 pounds, a very strong division. But, you know, me personally, just something about this division doesn't work. I don't know what it is. I, I, I don't know if it's the infantry. I don't know what it is on paper that is missing. Uh, but something about it just doesn't do it. Uh, but anyway, diving in here, recon tab, really solid. You get the SDK of Zeds, the Alfclair, but the Alfclair do not come in anything super fun. Maybe a weird half track. Uh, the Panz Panzer 3M, always love those things. He's double vetting that. And then we have an Alfclara Panther D there. The infantry tab, a fun mix of random units here. Uh, we got the Sturm Pioneer, Pioneer, uh, Panzergren MG34. Then we have the strong unit here, the Stolstrup Beretta, which is a Stolstrup unit with a Beretta, which is much better. He has two cards of leaders here, Panzergren's in B and Panzergrund MG34 in C, but that is one vetted as well. Tank tab, we have the Panzer threes, more of those, lovely. Then you have the Stug M42, one of the most efficient medium tanks in the game with their 1750 meter range. Doesn't get much cheaper than that for that 1750 meter range. Then we have a Panther A leader here in A phase, then B phase, just a Panzer IV card and also a Panther A card double vetted and vetted respectively. The support tab, really strong here. You got IG-18s, Panzer IVs, MG42s, Gorillas, Panther leader, the commander, excuse me, and then the munitions. So, like, everything you could want in a support tab. This division is very good from that respect. AT tab, solid. We have the Panzer Shreks, the Martyr 3M, very efficient AT tank, and then two cards of pack 40. A tab, eh, underwhelming. It, it's underwhelming. We have the SDK of Z71, which I believe is phase locked to A phase, and then uh, he's bringing Gepard's double vetted. Ugh, it's not great. I, I think if I'm not if I'm not misremembering, this is the division with the FAMOs, and FAMOs really aren't good. They're 88s attract to, uh, attached to a truck that have no armor and essentially no ammunition. They're very frustrating to use. Uh, they're just not actually super good at all. The RD tab is really good, but extremely crimped with its slot activations. Uh, he's got the 
the mortar, the 105 SK-18, and the Verf Robin, all good options. There's more good options, but you just don't have the space for them. Uh, and then the air tab, solid. You get some Italian planes here, which are fantastic. BF-109, Recon, though. Focker Wolf F-8, which has the medium resilience. The Sagittario fighter there. And then the Alciona, lovely bomber there. Very good resilience. Diving in here. Uh, okay, we see no, yeah, a little, nothing. Nope, nothing out of the ordinary here from Once Some Noob. Uh, and really nothing pushy here from player either. Zooming in here, make sure my volume's working. It is. Okay, we good, we good, we good. It's all good. Now, if you guys enjoyed this, please make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe for more Steel Division 2 Warno content, and consider checking out the Patreon link down below. It really does help me out a lot. You get some cool bonuses on that, too. And also check out attackpowergaming.com for some cool merch and other things there. So, once some noob getting an early grab here with his Venatori Nagata on this flag. Who wins this? The Venatori, because they're double vetted and the Panzergrants have no veterancy. Actually, kind of weird. Kind of shocked to see player not bringing any veterancy on those dudes. Ooh, the Panzergrants are coming in in the lovely SDK of Z251-9. He needs to get that out of there. There we go, there we go. Ooh, but the 45 move, mil moved into range. These guys are fantastic. It's that same gun that we find in the SPW-233 and stuff. These guns are really good. He just needs to back up. And he does... And he does get out. Very nice. Yeah, those can really do a lot of damage. They can kill things they have no business killing um, with their heat shells. Because the heat shell actually... Well, no, these are AP. I apologize. These do not have the heat shells. So these are just 55. But still, being able to take out a transport or something with these for a 20-point transport. Uh, the HE does 2.2 damage... It's a it's a very good little like vehicle to use. So Tron two though is a good counter to it. Okay, so the SDK oh yeah, it's an SDK Z two fifty slash one. The off cloud I come in came in with. Now one thing to remember on this map, you have this church tower on the blue side, and it, it can get you so much value. It's kind of insane actually. Is he shooting at the SDK of Z? This Tron cannot decide what to shoot at. The problem is too, its turret turn speed is horrendously slow. Can the 250 get out in time? Tron 2 is struggling. Failed at basically everything. Bounces. Now, it does fire much faster than the SDK of Zed. It does get a pen. Tron 2 misses again. Oh! That's That could not be more worth it. My god. 20-point half-track killing that 40-point Tron 2, and there's only four in the deck to get through. Like, ouch. And now this one hitting on this Kadarashi here. Yeah, these are getting so much value. I absolutely adore these things. Yeah, especially in the Panzer Divisions, um, more so than any of them. I mean, Allied Armor a little bit, like Allied Armor Divisions a little, but not like the Panzer Divisions. You have to check the transports. There's a lot of really strong units you can bring in the transports. Now we see Rocio de Salt, Veneto de Gata coming in here. This is a very strong showing. This Pioneer, Sturm Pioneer squads here will not hold up against this. We see Once Some New making use of his nine leaders. No, wait, I apologize. That's that's a player who's got the nine leaders. Once Some New just has three, along with the Artie leader. But I mean, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I do understand. It makes sense player bringing the second card of leaders and B-Phase in his infantry because his Artie tab is extremely tight. Like You just don't have space. So we see Once Some New making use of that 60 mil mortar on the machine gun here. Interesting, interesting. Oh, almost picked up that AB horse with the 251. These poor Sturm Pioneers. They are three vet. Like, they, they're they they're rocking, but they're not going to be rocking for long against this. Now, the lines of sight in this hill area here on this map are absolutely ridiculous. Uh, you have to be aware that it, you, units are going to be, like, right next to each other and for some reason still can't see each other. It's a very odd combination of lines of sights. But player now on a 14, uh, excuse me, won some new on a 1410, making use of that Vanguard income. Stream Pioneers try to stay alive. Some more Stream Pioneers in now. SDK's at 251, almost got a shot off on the hill, on units on the hill here. Tron 2, Hotchkiss in. The SDK of Zed did die, probably to the Tron. Panzer Grenadier trying to get into a position to capture this flag back. Nope, just short. See, an 81 Memorta, Galila, Panzer 3. So, player really picking up a lot of units in the back line. Zierny 2 in, though. Going after the Panzergrens. Oh, those poor Panzergrens. More smoke coming down to keep these long-range units out of fighting. Out of the fight here. 
Nice use by once some noob of that smoke. Kind of always know a player's good when they're using smoke. It's just one of those things that's really powerful, and I know I don't use it enough. That's how you know I'm not very good. <laughs> it just confirms exactly what I'm saying. So we do see the Hotchkiss getting targeted by the 81 Mortar. Now we see the 60 mil Mortar getting hit. That's a really smart move. You really got to kill these. They're not like high value targets, but my God, do they get value. I know I just said they're not high value targets. They're not point wise high value targets. In terms of their utility, they're extremely valuable though. Ooh, Heat Shell misses the Panzer III, just gets away. That nice kill with that 81 mil Mortar though to start. Is there radio there? Uh, the Panzer Grunt's way too far back to give radio that far back, right? 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 Uh, no, maybe not. Might be just in range of this forward 25 mil. And he sees that because of the off Claire in the church tower. Gotta get those guys in there. They can do so much. Sturm Pioneers trying to work their way back into the woods after being forced out by all these infantry. 251 trying to help the cause here. Problem is, uh, player's been pushed off of... Ooh! Oh, that's a huge kill for the Foggerwolf picking up the Rashitsa. Oh, that hurts. Can the Fog Wolf outrun that BF-109? It doesn't look like it. I don't see any AA. Oh, we're going to lose the Fog Wolf for it. Is it worth it? Kind of, yeah. Point-wise, no, not at all. But killing Rashitsas is really good. You want Rashitsas to be dead because they are one of the most absurd weapons in the game. A double 100 mil right off the bat here going after the 81 Memorial player has not moved it. Oh, no, he's going to be punished hard for that. Yeet. Everything on the run now. Oh, the SDK is dead as well. These Romanian 100 mils are so good. They fire so fast. As everything runs. But it does look like everything's going to get out this time. So once I'm new making use of his Vanguard income, three minutes left of that. He has really gummed up the center here. He's got a lot of troops here. All four of his Rocio de Assault qu squads. Now, stacked up against the Sturm Pioneers, they are going to struggle two-on-one. They, they won't beat them two-on-one for sure. Molotov going to keep these Pioneers in the run, going to get them killed before they ever toss that grenade there. Interesting. Once some new deciding to break off combat here with those Roshioti, with his Sturm Pioneers. He did have the two-on-one. I'm a little confused about that one. Really thought he had the advantage. But player was still at 1410. Capture this flag here, add this one here. Oh, excuse me. 81 mil mortar going after, well, the 45 mil was here. I think that's what he was going for, but it's already dead. Interesting. 100 mils searching for that 81 mil mortar. Second he fires, he's under attack. Panzer three is hunting around. They are going to struggle to kill that Jirni. At range, Jirni has 105 millimeters of armor, so that's going to be tough. Especially if he loses it to the 45 mil before he ever gets to that point. 45 mils can't even, uh, they, I mean, excuse me, the Panther threes can't even see the 45 mil. A little bit of poke at that 25 mil there to try to take that out. I mean, he's got a fair bit of air force, so I do understand the concept here. He's going to need like 10 Stolstrup Bredas to break through all this. Those Super Raiders are good, but they are small squads. Like, they don't last long. Gorilla trying to do a ground attack to clear this out, but there's not actually anything here, funny enough. So one Panzer III down to the 45 mil there. Panzer III has its AP off, so APCR only. I don't think that's necessary. It will fire APCR only first anyways. So here we go. Triple Star Panzer III gets a gun jam on the first shot. Wow. Oh. Now, that can be repaired up. It's not dead, but that's a pretty big pen. Can it finish it off? Oh, no, it stopped. Ah! It gets the Jirni kill. Rashita on target on the Pack 40 here. That's bad. The Rashita is a very strong HE weapon. Oh, already hit on the SDK of Zed. That hurt. Mortar is dead. There it is. Player a little bit too uh, too anemic with his mortar movement there. Rashitsa absolutely wiping this pack 40. Like I said, the HE on these Rashitsas is very high. And of course, couple that with its extremely high rate of fire, and it's hard to uh, match up against it.
with a non-HE weapon. So now we're in B phase though. Can player turn it back around? I mean, he's not like way behind, but he also hasn't made incredible trades either. He's made a few. He's picked up a, you know, Tehran, a, a Jirni here, you know, that Rashidza, but he lost the plane for it. It has not been clean trades. Let's put it that way. Here comes the Stolstrup Retta. Going to try to push his way through. I mean, once some news pretty spread out here, so it is possible that he could take these out one at a time pretty easily. Once some news pretty quick on the fallback button, though. So the 100 mils have already claimed some value, killing off that half track, which it pays for one of them. Remember, these are these are only 80 points, which is insane. Uh, they're only 80 points, so killing that mortar already is a 20 point positive trade for them. For one of them. If it can pick up an SDK of Zed, that would be huge. And that would 100% pay them off. And some. Yeah, it's how player uses this Gorilla is actually really important. Because he's got the 2k HE. Um, like I said, once somebody really doesn't. Tracks broken on the Martyr 3. Cheeky shot there from the Hetzer. Now, can this thing still turn? I think it can still turn magically. We'll see. It's facing over here. This Gorilla, though, having a really hard time actually landing a hit. It's missed two major shots. He could have done a ton of damage and missed them both. Check out these Kanadashi Moto quick, though. You can see 10-man squad, a better submachine gun, better rifles, and two MG42s with a way better availability curve. They're just all around better. All right, so here we go. Also, these Australian Assault are basically out of uh, Molotov. So first one gets absolutely wrecked. SDK goes down to the 45 mil. Thing is, though, these Stoke Super Riders are going to run out of, of Molotovs really fast. And then, I mean, they're still deadly with the Berettas, but they're not nearly as dangerous. You know, their danger level goes down many levels once they run out of Molotovs. Player finally turning around the center flag. As once a new beats a hasty retreat from the wall of infantry. Now, the leader died, so there's no leadership here. JU-88 coming in for the bombing trip is really deep. Like, it completely missed. Yep, total miss. And you can see the Stoke Super Reds do a lot of damage. It's not like they don't do damage. Triple Molotov on the Roshiori Assault there. Getting almost instantly pinned. That is the power of a lot of Molotovs. As the leader tries to avoid getting caught, Roshiori staying on the move here. That means they won't toss their Molotov, although it's reloading anyway. And the movement actually does cause more damage as well. Another Stolz Troop squad down. Roshioli Sulk get their Molotov off. Doesn't do a lot, though. As the Stolz Troop Reddit continue to move in, having a hard time with those lines of sight there. We see 60 mil mortar along with Artie going after... I'm not sure what, the Grilla, maybe? Venatori to Gata to get wiped out. Two still pretty healthy Stolz Troop squads pushing through. And here comes more. Yeah, they, they are very strong. There's no getting around that, that factoid. Another 81 mil mortar in, now going after the 60 mil mortar. Good choice. You need those dead. They are annoying AF. And very strong if you leave them alone. The thing is, though, players fighting back good. But once a noob really isn't losing much. He lost another 60 mil here. It's not like he's not losing anything, but the fact is, player has not positively traded yet. Uh, for everything he's killed, he's lost something. Again, killing these 60 mils is very strong. 100 mil looking for the Panzer IV kill. Very interesting. See an SK-18 coming in, hopefully for the counter battery. Using it for anything else is probably not a good idea. MG-42, I'm not sure what the point of having this here is. If you're going to leave it on return fire and not even put it in a place to see things. A little odd. Vigor's moving up. It should beat the SDK of Zed in a fight, although the SDK of Zed will get the first shot off. Panzer IV under assault here. Pioneer versus Venatori. The Pioneer usually would win, but it is very weak. The Venatori doesn't surrender anyway. So while this is good, because the Pioneer is so weak, it's going to take like five minutes for this unit to reload to fire again, and now the Venatori will like re-engage. 
Player has not noticed his Panzer IV getting bombed. We do see a Grilla coming in down south, which is kind of weird because nothing's happening here. Vickers notices the Panzergren. Martyr III better be careful. It has no chance against that Vickers in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Verframen coming in. Interesting. Queuing up an attack here on the Hetzer. Interesting. I feel like the Hetzer... Yeah, the Hetzer's dangerous, but it's not your primary concern. You have plenty of armor to kill the Hetzer. SK-18 now in. Martyr 3 engages the Vickers. Misses. Pins with the help of the SK-18s. I mean, a nice assault there by player, but now the 100 mils are going to counter battery immediately. That's why I said I don't think this... You should use the SK-18s to counter battery these 100 mils. They've been doing a lot of damage. Leaving them alone seems really weird to me. Especially because he could have had the first shot off and, like, maybe scored an early kill in the early victory in the Ar Arty War. Pianity Kaladi get pinned down and killed pretty quickly. The other one's going to get a grenade off, though. But more Stolstrup inbound. But they've already all used their Molotovs. They're molly -less for the most part. Which means these grenade tossers are going to absolutely shred them. Oh, there's so many grenades flying. Ah! I think there's only like uh, probably six more or five more still Superettas in player's deck. Is he counter battering it? No, he just refuses. He doesn't care. I, I never agree with this, guys. I'm a staunch believer in doing some counter battery. Hetzer takes a sight damage hit. Verframen is dead? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, that's so bad. He got punished so hard, the Hetzer just popped out and killed it. Oh, player, you can't leave units out in the open. He should have let it finish moving. He would have been fine. That is a kick in the balls. Now, the Verfram is not like a back-breaking unit. It's good, but it's not back-breaking. But to lose it with no usage, 140 points down the drain, that is horrifying. All right, we got to see some counter battery now. Okay. The problem is now all his units are pinned or already running. Like, he could have had the already advantage. He can't let those things go to town. Panther Commander now coming in into another ballsy position. I understand he wants to, like, set up a nice support here, but... Uh. Off Cloud are getting hit in the church tower. Once the is finally guessed... What's going on there? 81 Mortar, though, going to try to answer and probably will. Immediately kills it. Will the church tower survive? It's not about the off cloud. It's about the church tower. And it does. So that sight line will continue. The Arty War has begun in earnest. Let's see who can win. The SK-18s are the Romanians. Now, the Romanian guns are technically better. They have a much higher rate of fire. But the SK-18s are very accurate. Oh, like I said, the SK-18s are very accurate. <laughs> and a massive kill there in the Arty War. Honestly, I almost feel like players should just kind of let the center go, just be happy with parity, and re-engage in, like, the open area down here or something. The Sheets of Finding... The, what? Oh, the Martyr 3. Ooh. Player PB on his... On his micro, though, does notice. SK-18's re-engaging the second arty piece. About to hit C phase, and both players will be choked on income. The Panther's in a weird spot. It's, like, not even covering the road. It could, like, set up to cover this road. And player's not exactly heavily armed here in this town. Pioneer has no chance against the Rochelle. You saw it. Storch Super goes down in the one-on-one. -on -one. If player's going to do this, he needs to be a little bit more concentrated with his troops. Martyr 3 in wait for this Hetzer, which is not moving into a position that's dangerous for him. SK-18s did find the 100 mil, which is already running. Once some noob is one of the few players I see actually like, just pick up his already and move. Most players just hit fallback when things get yucky, but once some noob actually like clicks them, moves them from time to time. So the rest of the 100 mils are now pouring in. There are two more to go if he wants to full commit to this. But now this flag under pressure. Somehow the Sturm Pioneers died? Not even sure how. The 60 mil, I assume? Must be the 60 mil. 
Sk18 staying on top of that 100 mil. Not even sure how they're doing that. Another Verf Ramanen. Is this one as exposed as the last one? Yes, it is. Wow. A uh, player has not learned his lesson from the first time he lost one of these for no reason. Does he even have ammo? He does. He does. What's he going for? All right. He's, whoa, really deep. That's going to be a waste of a Verf Ramen strike. Especially if he full blasts it. Uh, I thought he would at least like only fire three or something like that. Funny thing is the leader is going to walk into it. Yep, and he ends up going down. So this did clear this out for now, but this flag down here now is under one some news control. One some new in a pretty solid ticket lead right now. Using one of his precious Stolstrup to drive in unsupported to capture this flag. Ugh. Ugh. That is not a good plan. Martyr 3 gets a pen on the Hetzer. Once the new left APCR on. Oopsie daisy. Bounces. Martyr 3 gets another shot off and takes the Hetzer down. It's a big kill. Still 13 11 though with this flag down south and still this flag up north. I can't believe he hasn't just taken this 81 with mortar and dropped mortar right here. Like he knows their stuff. Ooh, Pantagran taking a not-so-smart way to get to this house. Literally everything here can kill that. Double Panzer IV support. Martyr 3M pushing forward. Sherm Pioneer, Stolstrup Reda helping to clear this area out successfully. One more unit left to go. Galila sees the Tehran 2. Starts laying down some fire. Martyr 3 should be able to finish that off, though. Oh, Marta 3M, don't fail. Easy kill here for you. It's a freebie. There it is. So the armor dead, but here comes the Rashitsa. Nope, just not coming. It's just here. SK-18s have fallen silent for the moment. Except for this one going after the Rashitsa. As one some noob reopens the Artie War with a massive barrage from four 100 mils. Don't think player was expecting that. As the SK-18s try to open back up, but they are picking different targets. Not ideal. One SK-18 down now. Alciona coming in. This is a great bomber. Pretty heavy bomb loadout, but will it get through? There's a Bofors triple star here. I doubt it, but it hasn't started firing. There's something weird with the line of sight here. And the Alciona does get its bombs up, but I think it's going to die for it. It does fall back the right way, but the BF 109's in. Oh. Does take out the leader. So that is definitely a plus, but not worth the 130 points he just threw down the drain. 120. The 100 mils have taken no damage. One SK 18 is already dead. The other's about to be. And all of a sudden, player is on the back foot in this Artie War. What's new was really smart about this. His ammo died. Doesn't it always, though? Like, let's be real. I swear to God, the ammo trucks, it doesn't matter if you set them, like, a thousand meters away, somehow an arty shell always lands on them. It's infuriating. And I, like, I don't even put my ammo near my, my arty anymore, and it still dies. Like, this was not that close. Now, I literally, like, started putting it, like, over here. Like, not even within the ammo circle, and I just bring it over when it runs out of ammo, because I'm so tired of the ammo trucks getting immediately hit the second counter battery comes down. So it looks like one of yep one of the SK uh, one of the RDPs is already dead here, so player responds successfully so far with his counter battery. The Verf Ramen has decided to drive out in the open again, because player has not learned his lesson from the first time this occurred. Another Alciona coming in. Ah, uh, I mean one of the twenty five mils did die, so this will get through. Problem is if it swings down south to fall back, ugh, it's gonna really hurt. J88 coming in. That will hurt. As this Pandagran could be pushing forward. It's not currently. SDA K18. Oh no, another Alciona gonna die. Oh, that's so bad. Oh man. Player losing a lot of points for nothing. Another SK18 dead. So three 100 mils on two SK-18s, but the SK-18s have proven to be extremely effective. 
I'm not sure if player has is picking up on the desperateness of his situation right now. He's got a lot of tickets and has half the game time left to get them all back. And he's moments away from losing this Artie War. And once the noob is very good with his Artie. So once he like locks you out, it, it's not good. Too slow on that fallback. Probably not going to get out of there. All right, nice choice here for the Verf Robin. The problem is he doesn't really have a follow-up, per se. IG-18 trying to clear out the Kadarashi? No, the Gorilla's doing that. The IG-18 is shooting something in the town. Verf Robin strike lands. Oh, it's terrible. Terrible. And he cuts it short, and that was probably the one he needed to keep firing. The Shita took damage from something? I don't know what. Another SK-18 is dead. None of the other 100 mils died. And the Artie War is now failing badly. Retta goes down before it can finish off the SDK of Zed, which now has total impunity here in this town. Although the TACCOM's now rolling in. I'm pretty sure player meant to move this up, but he hasn't. Really needs to. SK-18 immediately dies, and that's essentially all of player's arty. And now Once Nuke can just basically wreck anything he wants. The Commander Panther took some sort of hit from something hard. Tacom goes down to the SDK of Zed or the Panzer IV. I don't know which, but that was pretty huge, actually. Panzer IV going to get the first shot off here on the Hetzer. SDK of Zed, what is it doing? Moving into a position this Venatori can kill it. Panzer IV went down to the Hetzer Tacom combo. SDK of Zed poking around the town. Finds the Venatori. Tacom can see it though. Oh, and down it goes. Unfortunate. And now once some new on a 15-9. Only minutes remaining here for player. If he can't find some flags. And you don't see a Panther D up against a Hetzer. Hetzer gets a transmission damage immediately and the Panther misses. Oof. I'm not going to lie. Unvetted Panthers just feel so bad to me. I don't know why. On paper, they should be fine. But my God, do they feel like they underperform. Like if we check out this Hetzer. Unvetted, right? Of course. It's regular AP is 45%. The Panther is only 40%. And that 5%... Feels like it makes a staggering difference. Bakuwal Bombing Strike does get through, but it's too deep, and all it does is pin some stuff down. And the problem is a lot of these are Venator de Degada. Some of them are, and they don't surrender. Stolstrup took a grenade, which is really bad. Okay, repositioning of these SDK, SK, SDK FZ. Got it. Spit it out. We finally see player moving forward into an odd position. He could just go into this building and be fine, but instead he's going all the way around. He's going to get hit by all the Kadarashi here. Rashitsa kind of has a smorgasbord of options here. IG-18 doing some good work. Rashitsa can't decide what the heck it's doing. Should be shooting this Panzergren, I would think. Yeah. Or Panzer for support in. I mean, they counter the TACCOM pretty well. Ooh, going after the Breda, though. Sight damage. Grilla goes down to the Hetzer. Oh, Breda goes down. Nice kill there, but the Panzer IV goes down. Yeah, and player's not in a spot to be straight trading. Once a new actually not using his Artie, which is kind of odd. I feel like he would know by now that his Artie war is over. He's normally really on top of that, so it's kind of odd to see him actually not using his Artie more. Hey, well, we're still hopping around. He is still hopping. Now going after that Rashita, everything's bunched up around this ammo truck. Probably going to be dangerous because the Verfram is sitting right there. So when this 100 mil decides to open back up, all of a sudden it's going to really hurt. 
Andragon did force off the Kadadashi Moto with the help of the Grill, I assume. But now gets immediately pinned by the Kadadashi around the corner. Again, he could just went in the building and had that. So really odd choice. But a Shitsa easy kill here on the SDK of Zed. 81 Mortar could not get there in time. Stolstrup, yep, and this is the last of them. And there's just, there's, even with the lack of CQC, 26th has even less. So it's, it's still an easy, easy win there in the woods. Yeah, I really feel like player should have just let this go, honestly. Like, get the parody, like, fight back to get this flag, perhaps. But, like, going deep and really trying to, is not, you're not going to win that. You don't have enough CQC in your deck. You just don't. Especially the way you built it. I think there's more pioneers if you wanted them. But yeah, this the setup he's got is not winning this woods at all. Now he was able to finally clear out using the grill of this Kadadashi there, so that was really nice. Got this flag back, but he's still only got a minute and a half left. H is one two nine coming in for actual just recon. No AA. Well, there's A right here in the center, which did successfully force it off. Grilla is now just wasting shells. I understand his thought process here, but there is nothing there. And the issue is the entire game, he did not drop any mortars just right in this spot. Like, this flag could have easily been him. Could have easily been his the whole game. Like, he had mortars twice. Yeah, this. He should have done this 20 minutes ago. And he probably would still be somewhere in here in the flags. I mean, probably would still be down because his trades weren't that good. But he wouldn't be in an almost uncomebackable position. Oh, Panzer IV... Really? That was sad, bro. Yeah, that was awful RNG, honestly. Unfortunately, he pinned his own Panzergren down. Like, if he just used a mortar, that would have been fine. But 15 seconds left here for player. It looks like once some new going to lock this one up. GG to him. I think 26 is a good choice for this map. I just think he worked. He wasted too many resources fighting over this. When he really should have been fighting down here. I mean, there there is a very real limit to 8th Cav's ability to fight in the open. Uh, you can do it with some Jirnies and some Rashitsas, but if you can take those out, there's really nothing to do after that point. You're kind of screwed. Uh, so yeah, 2642, 2135 there for one some new with his beautiful 8th Cav deck. Yay, Romanians. BF109, just, oh my god, there's so many points to lose in the sky. That's why I'm always, I'm just always very hesitant to aggressively call him planes because losing them is so painful. It's such a value loss. Uh, the 81 Mortar did great, though. Yeah, the 105, I mean, if he had kept going at him, I don't know, it's hard to say. Once some new was do, did really well turning off all his arty and then going after it again to get those early kills. If you guys enjoyed that, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, consider checking out that Patreon and attackpowergaming.com. Thanks a bunch, folks, and have a fantastic day.